Hello everyone. Now that we've looked at the pumping lemma, in this video what I want to do is I want to take some examples of languages and find the minimum pumping length. So if you're going to appear for an exam which has objective questions, either multiple choice questions or questions where you just have to enter a number, uh, there might be questions which ask you to find the minimum pumping length of a given language. So that's what we'll be taking a few examples of. And uh, there isn't really a very sure shot mechanical way to do this. We just have to look at the language. We have to look at what strings belong to the language and then find out the minimum pumping length. So let's take a look at the first example, which is zero star, uh, one plus zero plus one star union. Uh, one zero one uh, zero star one so these are just some examples that I found online this is just a random regular expression that's given to us and we need to find the minimum pumping length for this so uh, let's say we start with a minimum pumping length of one um, and let's take a look at some language that we can get from here and I'm just more inclined to Take a, uh, take a string from the second part because that just seems shorter. So the smallest string that I can take from the second part is 1-1. One, one. Now this is a string that I'm not going to be able to pump at all because uh, if, if I take my y to be let's say uh, the 1 right here then I'm going to get a 1-1-1 one, 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 which uh, does not belong to my language because it definitely doesn't belong to the second part. It doesn't belong to the first part because there's a zero plus in the first part, which means that at least one zero is mandatory. So at this point, we've already ruled out uh, a minimum pumping length of one as well as two, because even if I did have two, um, the one one would still fail the, uh, fail the conditions because uh, what do I need? I need strings which are of length at least the pumping length. So if I say the pumping length is 2, I can still be given the string 1-1 one, one, and I'm not, not going to be able to pump any substring in 1-1. One, one. So we've ruled out 1 and 2. Let's take a look at whether 3 can be our minimum pumping length. So as far as the second part is concerned, uh, what's the uh, smallest string of length 3 that can be given to me? Uh, so I have 101 one. and now in this what I'll do is I'll just take my y to be 0 and now given any i I can just pump the 0 any number of times so if I have let's say i equals 3 I can do this and uh, because I have a 0 star here this uh, this still belongs to the language according to the second part itself so uh, as far as the second part is concerned the three sounds fine. Let's take a look at the first part right here. And let's first convert the first part to just stars. So I have zero star, one, one star, uh, zero, zero star, one star. This is what I have. So what's a string of length three or more that can be given to me from here? Let's say I have the string uh, one, zero, zero, zero. So uh, I have this one right here and I have this zero right here and I'm just using this zero star to generate these two zeros. So in this case what I can do is I just take this to be my um, actually uh, not this. I take um, this to be my y. So my x in this case is equal to one zero y is just 0 and z is 0 and remember the third condition is uh, the length of x and y put together should be less than or equal to the pumping length and this is satisfied because I'm saying that the pumping length is 3 so I'm saying p equals 3 here so this condition is satisfied and I can pump this y as many times as I want and uh, the length of y is greater than 0, so all of it is satisfied. And given any string from the first part, I am going to be able to find a pump, 
a Y which uh, satisfies all of the pumping lemma conditions. So our final answer for this thing is P equals 3. So that's the first example. The next example that I want to talk about is uh, 0, 1 whole star. Now let's look at what strings there are in this language. So I have epsilon, I have 0, 1, I have 0, 1, 0, 1 and so on. Now the first thing I could say is my pumping length is 1. What is the smallest string that I can have from the uh, from the language which is of length greater than 1 I can have 0 1 now uh, I could say that my y is this entire thing one thing that uh, we need to keep in mind is that the pumping lemma says that the length of y needs to be greater than 0 but it never says anything about the length of x and z which means that the lengths of x and z can be 0 so it's fine if I have a string where I don't have an x or a z or both so uh, if I say at this point that my y is both of these then I could pump this as many times as I want including 0 if I have i equals 0 I'm going to get epsilon if I have i equals 2 I'm going to get um, 0 1 0 1 uh, all of which do belong to the language so this does look fine but what happens here is that the third condition is that the length of x and y put together must be less than or equal to the pumping length which means that if I have a pumping length of 1 I cannot have my y of length 2 so I cannot have 0 and 1 to both be y uh, in that case my y will just be uh, this 0 and in that case if I'm given i equals 2 I'm going to land up with 0 0 1 which does not belong to the language that's given to me so which means that my pumping length cannot be 1 but as soon as I make the pumping length to 2 so if I say pumping length is 2 then what is the smallest string of length 2 or more that can be given to me it's uh, again just 0 1 and this time because my pumping length is 1 I am allowed to have both of them as y and then I can pump it as many times as I want so the final answer for this uh, this language given to me right here is that the minimum pumping length is 2 so that's the second example the third example that I want to take up is um, is quite an interesting one actually so I have uh, 1 0 1 1 star 0 star and uh, whole star 0 actually no star here so here what happens is let's say I have a pumping length of um, 0 uh, sorry a pumping length of 1 a pumping length can never be 0 so I don't know why I made that mistake so if I have a pumping length of 1 what is uh, the smallest string that can be given to me which is of length less uh, of length greater than 1 the smallest string that I do have from this language is of length 3 and here I uh, if I have the pumping length to 1 then my y can only be this thing right here owing to the third condition which is length of x and y put together should be less than the pump less than or equal to the pumping length so if this is my y then if I'm asked to pump this let's just take i equals 0 that just fails everything um, i equals 0 means that I'll get 1 0 which does not belong to the language so pumping length of um, pumping length 1 is ruled out at this point if I have pumping length 2 again my y can only be either this part or it could just be the second one so let me just get rid of this y so my y can be uh, any of these actually it could be this thing as well it could be this thing as well or it could be both ones put together but even in this case again when I just say i equals 0 that just fails the entire thing because uh, none of these are uh, are symbols which I can get rid of so uh, 
I equals zero just fails this thing entirely. So pumping length of two is ruled out as well. When I get to pumping length three, again, this is the same string that can be given to me and I equals zero is going to fail that as well. So that rules out pumping length of three as well. Now, uh, let's say I say the pumping length is four. Now at this point, what happens is in this language, there is no string of length for itself. But the thing is, that's not really my fault. Uh, all I'm saying is that the pumping length is four. Give me any string from the language, which is of length four or more. And I will give you some substring in the middle, which I can pump. So uh, the smallest string that can be given to me, which is of length greater than four is one zero one zero zero and uh, I'm saying that my pumping length is four so p equals four and uh, here all I need to do is I need to say that um, this is my y so this is my x this is my y and this is my z the length of x and y put together is four which is equal to the pumping length which is fine the length of y is greater than zero that's fine as well and i can pump y as many times as i want because i have this star right here so the pumping length a pumping length of four satisfies everything given any string that's of length four or more i am going to be able to uh, find a substring that can be pumped so these were the three examples that I wanted to take uh, and these are the only examples that we'll be doing. If you have any more examples like these that you, you would like me to answer, put them in the comment section and I'd be happy to answer them. Before we conclude this video, there's uh, one last point that I wanted to mention, uh, which is again quite an interesting point. So what if I'm given the language epsilon this is a regular language which means that i should be able to find a pumping length for this so the pumping length for this is actually one so here the pumping length is one and you might argue that the only uh, the only way that i will ever be able to choose x y and z is when i have all of them to epsilon but the thing is, I'm saying that I need a string from the language which is of length one or more and I'll choose X, Y and Z for that. With this language, I'm never going to get a string which is of length one or more because the language is just epsilon uh, and that's just uh, of length zero, which means that I'm never going to get a string which is of length one. And as soon as this happens when I'm never going to get a string of that length or more, I can just say that um, that is my pumping length because uh, I don't need to satisfy any of the pumping lemma conditions if you cannot give uh, if you cannot give me a string which is of my pumping length uh, or more, which is also an explanation of how we can make any finite language. Uh, regular we can just have a pumping length which is greater than uh, all of the strings in our finite language so that's the last point that i wanted to mention before we conclude this video i hope you understood how we calculated how we determined the minimum pumping length for these uh, languages if you did uh, learn something from this video don't forget to drop a like if you haven't already subscribed to my channel hit the subscribe button and share the video with your friends so that they can also take a look at these examples. I'll see you next time.